Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to do a video this morning showing my gardening situation. Um, we have had, uh, from baseline to today, we are developing our garden and growing soil because um, this was all part of a area that was scraped away. So what we have been dealing with has been subsoil. And to get the better soil that your uh, um, vegetables will grow in, you need nice black topsoil if you can get it. So we've been working on a few things, trying to, sorry, I got chickens right between my legs. Um, <laughs> we've been working on a few things, trying to get uh, things uh, addressed. And I'm gonna just do a quick little tour of how I have my garden set up. It is not by any means perfect. I'm hoping in another year to two years, it'll be doing really well. I do have things growing amazingly because I think that the soil looks pretty crazy, but um, I've had things grow and I've had a crop or two. Um, it's not super, super large garden, but for us, it's plenty big enough. Here is the, the half of the garden that I let alone. These are some strawberries. I literally have weeds. I've got some sunchokes in there. I've got some stunted uh, tomato plants and some pepper plants and and I, God knows what else. And I think I have some asparagus and stuff over there. Um, I've just let it kind of go because I knew this year I wasn't really gonna be doing much of a garden. Um, I've always used straw to cover the ground up, um, but I hadn't re-upped it this year. Um, I have, it's sort of hard to see, there's my gate. I got my little, my little cross, if you can tell, um, less in the garden, but I've got, um, uh, bird netting. It kind of, I have it connected over here. It makes like a, a triangle and goes, it connects over to that wooden stake. So I have almost like a little vestibule for me to walk in and then, um, the other part of the garden is over here where I have done wood chips. I did this earlier this year, um, probably back in June. We've had so much rain and uh, I put it in pretty thick. I laid it in a good eight, 10 inches. And I know that's really not enough as far as back to the garden. Uh, there's, there's one of my girls. Um, as far as like the back to Eden gardening method, um, but we have to literally do all this by hand. We have to do it by truckload and we have an awkward way to get it back here. So there's only, and, and the rain, you know, working between uh, decent rain days, there's only so much you can actually do. So at any rate, um, I, I had it, I had the garden cross fenced off where the, the mulch was and I kept the chickens on this side and we had built this little run. Um, it's completely secured walk over there and show it to you. It's completely secured. It's got welded wire fencing and then an apron that goes down into the ground of um, half inch hardware cloth. Um, the, the door is all hardware cloth on the bottom um, and we did mulch in here because this was actually a really low area and um, we've got the chickens shaded which is really important because it gets wicked hot here um so they come back in here they've got their waterer i throw an, an, a frozen water bottle in there to keep the water nice and cool they've got their feed um the coop gets opened up and everything but what i wanted to show you is i had laid this pretty thick as well and uh you see mulch on the top, but there's not much milk. I mean, this was thick. This was, this was a good, you know, eight inches thick or whatever. There's no more mulch other than very much on the, uh, I think we might have an egg laying situation happening, but, um, there's really not much mulch. I mean, there's a few areas where it's a little bit deeper, but it, it has very rapidly turned to soil. And so this was one of the things I wanted to occur because this was a low area and this is just a really great way to actually build soil. I need to get back on it. So like you can see it like right here, that was nothing but mulch. It is now dirt. It's turned 
very quickly into dirt. Um, two months. The shade cloth, I believe, in fact, I know, it keeps it all shaded so everything in here stays more um, moist. And the whole, the whole decomp decomposing process happens faster. Um, but that's great because this may be one of my quick turnarounds as far as creating a compost area that I can basically build soil and take it and then out the door and it goes to my uh, garden. So that's just one of the things that we've been working on. I know some of it is not necessarily um, ideal, um, but there's a lot of things that are just kind of an experiment. Let's see what's going on in the chicken situation here. They're like, I'm out. I am not sticking around here. But uh, this is one of the things that we've been working on and hoping that it's gonna pan out fairly soon. So, uh, just another day on the farm. Talk to y'all later, bye.